Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the WB Mason Coaches Report with head women's soccer coach Simon Radioff. My name is Rachel Vogel, and Coach Simon, uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, long weekend, uh, but back to work. Well, I hope you're doing pretty good. Your team is on a roll right now. Two big wins over two tough Ivy League opponents this past weekend opening it up last week uh, with a big win over Columbia and following that up with a victory over Penn on Sunday. Um, Coach, just real quick, just before we get into this, speak about what you what your team accomplished this week and um, and how you thought they did overall. Yeah, um, Columbia and UPenn last year prior to COVID were both in the top 100 RPI teams. We always know playing Columbia where a local rivalry it's never an easy place to go, and they made it difficult for the first half. We also, you know, didn't do ourselves any favours in that first half. I thought we could have finished a couple of chances. We didn't. Uh, but to be fair, the girls rebounded that second half and, and took control of the game within 10 minutes. Uh, Porter, Ellen, and uh, I guess, was it Miriam who scored the third goal? Lucy Shep uh, brought the corner. Ah, uh, yeah, Shep's from the corner. So... You know, it was comfortable in the end against a, a very tough, aggressive, organised Columbia team. And that, that's all we can ask for. And then you fast forward to UPenn, I thought they were very well coached, uh, organised, talented, and they, they made it difficult. They didn't give us any easy opportunities and our girls just kept tapping away. And, um, you know, we eventually brought down the door in the second half and and it, it, it was it was comfortable for a three one win. It was more comfortable than it appeared. So I'm just I'm just really happy with the way the team are. I'm happy with the way they're performing. Uh, individuals are stepping up, and in reality, there's not many negatives so far in this season. Seems like the theme of the weekend and kind of almost you know, throughout the whole season has just been the flip the switch mentality. Like you did it against Columbia where it was just like, all right, like this is not what we need to be doing right now. Flip the switch and you score three goals in five minutes. And then same thing in the second half um, against UPenn on, on Sunday. You just again, you weren't satisfied, obviously, with the one one score at halftime, flip the switch and get those two second half goals. Um, it, and all well, let's see, five of the six goals this weekend in the second half. Um, so talk about the the resilience of your team in the second half. And again, like I said, the flip the switch, refuse to lose mentality. Yeah, I think I think it's a combination of quite a few things. I do think physically we we're probably more athletic than most teams we're playing right now. Uh, I think we're fitter than most teams. So when it when it gets to the second half, a, a lot of these teams are. are tired a little bit and we can just keep grinding forward and when when you are fit and as talented as we are you're going to get goals late in games so that's one aspect uh, we, we're a senior laden team got a lot of experience a lot of players who you know are going to continue battering down uh, going to continue plugging away they, they don't let little details affect them uh, they, they understand that you're not going to score goals all the time and it's just a matter of keep plugging away and we're going to get those goals. So combination of fitness, athleticism, you know. And again, we, we, we're putting teams under a lot of pressure for that first half. It's just that, you know, teams are going to be resilient against it and eventually they can't, they can't stop us from, from getting on the scoreline with the talent we've got. Now shifting focus, your team um, getting some national recognition this week, um, jumping into the top 25 United Soccer Coaches poll and getting some top 15 recognition from the top drawer soccer poll. Um, so this is obviously a great recognition for your team, but how is how important is it and what is your message to them this week? Because Because now you have, if you didn't already have a target on your back, now you really, really, really have a target on your back. So what is your message to the team um, to stay grounded and stay humble throughout this uh, this part of the season? Yeah, I, I'm really fortunate. I don't really have to send any messages. Uh, the leadership on this team, uh, it's re it really is impressive to watch. And I, I'm, I'm super proud of how my super seniors and seniors have grown over this last two or three years that 
we are going to stay humble. Uh, we are going to keep grinding. And, and they, they demand that from themselves, not just myself, Jerry and Kelsey pushing them in, in practice. They demand it. And so I, I'm not concerned about egos right now. I don't think we have to change focus or refocus what we're doing. It's back to business. On, on Tuesday, we'll have practice today. We'll work them hard. And we'll start prepping for book now Friday. And this team, we're not going to be overlooking anybody, but we also know that teams are going to come and give the best to us. And, and, and it, it's great to get the recognition. You know, 20 years ago, Hofstra wouldn't be on anybody's ranking. We couldn't get teams to play us. And now every team in the country wants to play us. And every, everybody knows about Hofstra and, and what we've managed to accomplish. And, and that is... That's the satisfaction part of it is we, we've got to a point where we do demand respect from everybody. And, you know, that, that's purely the girls and their attitude over the last three, four years has been phenomenal. Certainly very gratifying. Um, and those two teams that are going to be looking to hunt you down this uh, weekend coming up, two tough opponents, Bucknell and Yale up next. So, Coach, just real quick, give us a little bit of insight into what you may be seeing from those two opponents. Yeah, like I like mentioned before, Bucknell has been a perennial in the Patriot League. Uh, they've, they've won a couple of regular season titles and a championship over the last four or five years. So they're, they're going to come in and, and they're going to try to put a stamp on their, their performance and get their season up and running. And Kelly's done a fantastic job since taking over that programme. So I'm expecting a battle very similar to a UPenn game or a Columbia game, to be honest. Yale, uh, Yale's got a new coach as well, Sarah. She's, she's, she's part of the old coaching staff, so it's not like a, a, a huge change for Yale. She was a big part of that staff anyway. So, you know, they're, they're struggling a little bit recently. They, they had a tough game against Oregon State this weekend, but that's a Power 5 team. And we, we expect them to come in and they've got a lot of talented team, a lot of talented players on that team. And she's going to get them playing some really attractive soccer. And hopefully we, we can uh, battle and, and get the ball off them and, and go from there. Well, let's hope so. So once again, fans, Friday afternoon, we have a 4 p.m. match against Bucknell, Hofstra Soccer Stadium, two home games this weekend, coming back home. Sunday noon versus Yale. You can watch both of those games on Flow FC. Coach, uh, let's keep it rolling this weekend and best of luck against your next two opponents. Thanks, Rich. And that was head women's soccer coach Simon Readyoff on the W. Mason Coaches Report on GoHofstra.com.